All right, here we go. This is the last video. Bathroom. So you can see, have a look what it looks like and we'll introduce the, the crew. Hey, how we doing? Good morning. <laughs> Here's the uh, plans. Uh, so we'll just, uh, we'll get started. We will get started. done here so starting off we'll go in order the tub is all framed out the drain is in drain is installed with the overflow nice gonna try and get some structural foam underneath that the tub mixer is framed out that's a regular Delta multi-choice R10,000 and you could see we've got a stub out for a handheld sprayer and then we have a uh, drop down that PEX goes down under the floor, comes up. There's going to be our regular tub spout offset so that two people can sit in the tub. Here's our 32 inch rough out for the toilet. That's a 12 inch rough toilet on center. So this is going to be a nice little toilet alcove. You can see we have the cold water coming up. Coming over here, we have our R22000 shower stall. This is going to be the floor got to figure out that drain got to pop some fresh insulation in those walls there and here is the mixer we have our cold coming up and hot coming in 
Easy peasy. <clears throat> We've got a handheld right there. This is at 48 inches. We have a wall outlet right there. We have a rain head right there. So a lot of nice options for that. All the framing is done here. We have right here is going to be a bathroom linen closet. It's only 14 inches deep, but that should be perfect to put some different shelves and stuff for towels and whatnot. This is missing a stud <clears throat> right in the center. That's gonna be a wall. Uh, that entrance will be no more. And this will be a closet, just a regular closet. 24 inches, not bad. Right here is going to be a closet from the office. So you could see our opening is framed out there. Has a 24 inch rough opening so that we could uh, have a nice little 24 inch by 24 inch deep closet right there. So that's gonna be pretty sweet. <clears throat> we thought we were gonna leave all the supplies and just cap them off, neaten them up. No such luck. The vanity has a 16 inch shelf height so these things i drew on the walls there the sharpie marker kind of outlines where the supplies and drains need to be I had to rough in that stuff pretty high and uh, of course the drains will fall right somewhere in here we're going to be redoing that all in pvc with some no hub connectors to the vent what's left to do we have the electrical <clears throat> all the electrical i'm going to put some overhead lighting in here get rid of that uh, ceiling titty we got to frame out that vent that's going to be part of the entrance to the shower. Um, we got to sheetrock the whole thing. I got to get den shield for in there. I uh, got to do den shield around the lower part of the tub because <clears throat> that's going to get wet. And then we'll just do regular sheetrock for the rest. And of course, got to work rework the heat. A lot of work left to do. A lot of work left to do.
Okay, this is almost the closet now. Let's see what we got here. No time lapse today because Santiago and William were very busy in here. But let's take a look. All of the radiant floor mat is down. Sensors in. We got extra over here. Got the heat cranking in here. And first coat of tape. Wow. Here is the second coat of tape. Second coat of joint compound. really good.
unfortunately I forgot to set the camera up before Santiago and his guys came. But we have a lot of the tile in. A lot of the tile. They were able to grout behind where the vanity goes for me. So I went ahead and I installed what I could. I was missing some pieces for the faucet. So I installed one of them and I got the vanity all set up and leveled. This vanity was every bit of 500 pounds from Wayfair and Santiago and his guys carried it up. Four guys, it was not easy. <laughs> um, all the, the tile and the shower is done, just needs to be grouted. Got tile on the wall there. So all this stuff needs to be grouted still. That needs to be tiled. We need another uh, one of these chrome pieces. It's looking really, really good. So tile will continue there. And then of course, behind the door, 